In the city that never sleeps, a perpetual craving for energy never eases. On nearly every Manhattan street, you'll find two things, a coffee shop and customers cupping their fix. A liquefied legal stimulant that most can't envision quitting. I feel lightheaded and I get a headache, I can't function, <clears throat> so I just have to. Are both of these for you? Yes, actually, yes. I don't know if I could give up coffee. I love coffee. <laughs> Five or six cups a day? Yes. Probably not good. Too much of anything's not good, right? Right. You're still going to drink three cups, though? Definitely. Americans consume 400 million cups of coffee per day, making the U.S. the leading consumer of coffee in the world. According to medical experts, daily intake of caffeine should stay below 300 milligrams or 15 ounces of coffee. One large cup of Starbucks contains more caffeine than the daily maximum recommendation. However, in recent years, the country's addiction to caffeine has grown both in portion size and means of consumption. Consumers no longer have to down 20 ounces of Starbucks or 64 ounces of soda to get an energy high. Unconventional products such as five-hour energy drinks and stimulant-laced gum have made caffeine America's most marketable legal drug. Because of the work imperative in America, we're working really long hours. People are chronically sleep-deprived also, so they're reaching for stimulants to get them through the day. Amid ongoing economic instability, U.S. energy drink sales increased more than 30 percent between 2010 and 2011. The newest stimulant hitting the market is a slim plastic inhaler called AeroShot. Each squeeze dispenses around 40 milligrams of caffeine in your mouth. The number one country ordering um, AeroShots is America. It is the caffeinated uh, nation. We are the caffeinated generation, and um, I think Americans particularly are looking for new ways to consume their caffeine. Meanwhile, multitaskers feeling for the biggest serving are turning to a product called 5150 Juice. One gallon contains 64,000 milligrams of caffeine, the equivalent of 400 Red Bulls. The whole objective for food corporations is to create repeat customers, to get people addicted to their products. Caffeine is, is clearly an addictive substance, and by creating all these products, they're definitely appealing to a wide range of consumers and feeding into the larger problem, which is this, you know, caffeine overconsumption of caffeine. Coconut can be While going after new consumers, one U.S. company created national controversy by packaging caffeine and liquor together. Okay, yeah, there's nothing crazy about it, okay? We took two legal products that Americans love and combined them, caffeine and a buttload of alcohol. Heavily marketed among college students, it turned out to be a deadly mix. One family in Florida who say four loco killed their son. Police say dozens of students have been sent to the hospital from these drinks. Amid lawsuits, mounting criticism, and eventually a federal ban, the company subsequently removed caffeine from the drink. But the national demand for the natural stimulant remains uncompromised, with more and more Americans looking for their legal high. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.